Hi everyone and welcome to part 7 of Let's Build New York Brownstones. It's been a while since the last part of the series, but I'm back and I'm really excited to be working on this lovely build once again. So just as a reminder, because it has been a while, what we did in the last part was we finished the whole lower level of this building. We also started on this apartment here, which is supposed to be for a crazy cat, cat lady slash crazy plant lady type. We just kind of combined those two ideas because I thought that'd be something really fun. And I believe last time I said my goal for this part was going to be to finish this apartment and maybe start on the outside, but I honestly don't think we're going to be able to do anything with the back of the building in this part. I want my main focus to be just finishing this apartment because it has, you know, I am kind of coming back after a bit of a break, so I want to ease myself back into things. I don't want to over my, overwhelm myself too much by trying to do too much, so we're just going to finish this and see how it goes, but... That's probably going to be all that I do in this part because I do also want this to be a little bit shorter than the parts have been because they have been creeping into the 40 minute range and I mean I guess some of you probably do like that length but I feel like that's a little bit too much and it does kind of get a little hard to edit so I would prefer to keep the videos a little closer to the 30 minute length so We'll see how this goes because I mean, I mean, knowing me, what's probably gonna happen is this is gonna this is gonna end up being 40 minutes anyway because that seems to be always be what happens in these cases. So as you can see, what I did there was I just changed this to the end cabinet because Skytrans 658 and Elliot brought up that that would probably look a little better with this whole column here. And a few of you did, or quite a few of you did, have suggestions for this whole dining area. So. Several of you did say that I should use a smaller dining table because this is a smaller space for one, maybe two sims, so we don't need this huge dining table here. And a few of you also brought up swapping the dining and living room, and at first I wasn't going to do that, but I thought about it, and that might actually be a good idea. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to take a large table and stick it over in this area against the wall because I believe Eric brought up doing something similar to that and we could put four tables at it and we can take two of those tables and then stick them somewhere else in the apartment you know like maybe use one of them in the bedroom here for the computer desk and then maybe one of them outside because someone else let me look up who it was really quick brought up like using like kind of um making it look like i think eric also brought this up with saying that it could be a situation where maybe they had this larger table from when they used to live in a larger place and they brought it here so they're trying to make it work within the space and maybe they can't fit all six tables that originally came with it at the table in the space so they kind of are using them in other places in the apartment and i really like that idea so i think we're going to roll with something like that um so we could use this one or what may actually work better is to use the base game one that definitely has kind of a more data feel. It's this one here. Yeah, this one is it. So we could go with... I do really like this kind of wood. Which I do know this table had something similar to. So maybe we could do this. You know what? We're actually... Let's actually go with this. Because I, I really do like this particular table. So we can just take four of these chairs... And then stick them here. And then I can't remember if I said anything about it or not, but I stuck that one outside because someone did bring up putting it on the deck and maybe having some plants on it. Um, so let me double check who that was really quick. I just checked and it was also Eric who said that. And as I said, I just thought that was kind of like a really cool way to think about things. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of this table. And I'm just going to keep what we had. So I do want to keep the coffee table, although... Maybe we should get rid of, or we don't have to get rid of this chair. What we can do, we don't have room for this anymore, though, if we stick this over here. Um, so we're going to basically just kind of have to reconfigure all the space to swap things around. So what we can do is put this chair over here. And then we can have this, maybe, the only problem is I don't want to block the door at all with this. I'm kind of worried about that. So what we can do is scooch this in closer and then have the standing lamp right here and then we don't, although that looks kind of odd, we don't need this anymore. So let's actually move this out slightly like this because I'm not really liking it shoved into the wall like that. So that can go there and then this can go here. 
and we're gonna swap out this rug because little Chrissy did bring up that I should use the braided rug that came with cats and dogs. So we're gonna go with this one instead of the circular one. So I think that fits into how things are configured in here a little bit better. I mean, I think it is fine if the space doesn't feel completely perfect. But I do kind of like, maybe not that color. I think either the original or, I think the original was good. So we're gonna stick with that. And just move things around a little bit. Okay, so now we're gonna deal with all the stuff over here that I just kind of piled. Everything's just sort of jumbled. So we'll stick that like this and Sims should still be able to route over here. And then we now have this plant that we gotta figure out another place for. So we're just gonna stick it over there and then get to that in a little bit. And we of course have to clutter this whole area with more plants. We definitely have to do that to go with the whole, you know, crazy plant lady-esque idea. So for the coffee table here, Kate did bring up adding a teapot, like kind of like that teapot decoration and some magazines to the coffee table. So I think that would look really nice. So we're just gonna do that. I believe that was tea. Like if we search for tea, that should come up. R Royal cat crab tree, crab tree, cheese. Why can I not pronounce this? Royal crab tree tea. Okay, I cannot say crab tree for some reason. It keeps coming out as crab tree. Um, so that's what I meant. So we're gonna have that here. I'm thinking the silver color and then magazine. So we do have those magazines from Moschino stuff. So we can have those here. I think those would be perfect. So that is gonna be here in clutter. And then we of course have gotta have a plant. Definitely have to have that. So what haven't we used? We haven't used this one. And then I think we should get a painting up here. So I'm gonna use that classic mountain painting or, or since this is a plant folks apartment, we should definitely have some plant paintings. Although I don't quite like how that fits into the space. Um, so we're gonna stick this over here and then come back to that. But there was a mountain painting, mountain painting that I do like that I think would be good for the space. This one right here. So we can just have that in over here. I think that looks nice. And we can have something else over here in this area. Maybe that creepy painting of a of a person kind of looks the same. Like maybe it's a, you know, because as I said in the last part, imagine someone a little older living here. So maybe it's like their parent or grandparent or something. It's like this really old photo that's kind of like a family heirloom that they've kept. So I think that definitely works here. And I'm actually having second thoughts about this rug color. Maybe we should go with this one. Yeah, I'm actually, you know, now I'm actually liking this better. Okay, so we got that. What else do we need? We don't really need too much else. I know Kate also brought up having a shelf with plants above the couch. So we could do that. We could move it out a little bit and position a shelf or maybe even a table behind it. I believe that was another idea that was brought up. So we do have this really thin table in here. And I'm hoping it doesn't encroach too much into the space to stick that there. I think that's actually fine. And then we can, that way we can kind of tuck this in behind the couch a little bit more. Well, the only problem is it's intersecting with that. And then we can just fill this whole thing up with a bunch of plants. So we've got this one here, which doesn't snap up to it, but that's fine. So we're gonna go ahead and grab that one shelf that I like to use and make it a little bit easier to position the stuff on the shelf because I'm assuming a lot of this isn't even gonna snap up to it. So you can go there and let's see what else we got. I, I have a feeling I'm gonna run out of plants to use in this apartment. I might have start repeating, but we'll see what we can do. Uh, I, I don't know, I, I don't really, I, I really like the terracotta look. So another thing we can do is we can also take larger plants and then size them down and stick them up here. And that will also give us a little bit more variety so I can use the same plant, you know, sized up and sized down, or, you know, normal size and sized down. So that does help some with the issue of potentially repeating. Although unfortunately this does look like it's floating a little bit, but we can just do that and tuck it in a little bit there. You know, it's, it's fine. You can't really tell. And then I'm thinking this plant would be perfect to put in this area right here behind the couch. And there was also that cat plant holder or cat plant pot. That would be perfect because you know it's kind of the kind of the melding of the two worlds that we're going for here. So we have we have definitely got to add that in. So you're gonna go right there, and then we have space for one more plant. So we're gonna go with I do like this color. 
Yeah, so that one looks good to me. Uh, perhaps this, yes, yes, I like this. Okay, so we're gonna throw that in there and then move this one over just a little bit. All right, so that is looking really cute. I'm digging that. And we're gonna change this to green just so we get a little bit more variety in the colors that we have back here. And then this one looks pretty good where it is. Uh, let's try to get it so it's not quite intersecting with the couch as much. Okay, so that's good. We got the living room coming together. We got a lot of plants. Maybe one more little plant right here next to the door. Definitely something smaller than that though because I wanna make sure it's not intersecting with it. So let's size this down, make it really teeny. And then figure out a different color. Wait, did I use that? Oh, whoops, okay, so we, we actually repeated plants, but maybe we can just change the color of this and that'll be fine. And then we'll take that one back to terracotta uh, just so that we've got a little bit more variety. Or actually maybe the blue. Yeah, the blue's fine. We'll roll with that. Okay, yeah, because I, I don't want this apartment to be completely perfect and put together. You know, there could be a little bit of imperfection here. So what do we want to have above here? I'm thinking some kind of nice painting. Maybe something with plants in it if we can get that. Like if we can find something in the right size that fits in with plants. So I know this one does have a plant swatch, but that's not really what I'm feeling for this apartment. So we do have this, but that's not, although I'm gonna keep that. We're just gonna stick that somewhere else because that's definitely a keeper for later. Oh, I know we have some swatches of this. Ooh. Yeah, we can, we can definitely make use of this somewhere else in the apartment. I really like that. So definitely getting a little bit of, uh, I was about to say make and magic, not, not make and magic, realm and magic in here. And speaking of that, um, I do think a spellcaster's apartment would be really cool. So I was thinking maybe we could do that for the upper level of this building, you know, kind of like they want the upper level so they have a little bit more privacy and there could be more secrecy. I think that could be good. Ooh. Yeah, okay, I'm liking this, I'm liking this. Uh, we have some other swatches. I sort of like this one. Yeah, I think that one could work. And I feel like we need, so this can go over here and then we can take this plant and then this can go here. Although I don't know if I'm 100% feeling, feeling this painting. Maybe we should just go back to this. Yeah, I think, we'll, I think we'll go back to this. All right, so we'll change the frame to that. And then I'm gonna take this plant and we're gonna stick it a little bit closer to the wall over here. And something else I was hoping to be able to fit in here was maybe a china cabinet somewhere, but I don't know if we're gonna have quite enough space to really make that work. Yeah, where can we fit that? Okay, so we got the cat feeder over here. Maybe, because I do believe they are one tile, like one tile wide. So we might be able to move the cat feeder over here. And I was just thinking, like I thought about this as I was editing the last part, maybe the gold would be a better option for this. Yeah, I think that works a little bit better. And then we can get maybe the hutch that came with get together in right here. Um, just cause you know, like, so, you know, so it's kind of like the, the China cabinet they had in the last place they lived. They had a dance, downsize a little bit, you know, maybe, they divorced or are widowed or a widower or something like that. And they had to take what they could and downsize a little bit, you know, so they just, you know, just kind of have these things that are crammed in here. All right, so there's get together. We've got this one. I really do like the look of this one. Um, so we got that wood. I don't know about that one. I do kind of like the look of this. And I am gonna move that because that's, I'm not feeling where that is. Uh, so we could take this and put it here. And actually, maybe instead of the gold, what would look better is the white. Okay, yeah, I do like the white more. And then like, let's make sure we got the fish instead of the bones. It's kind of hard to tell. Okay, these are the fish. So I definitely see the fish is more so being the cat, like the cat swatch of it. You know what, let's go with that. Yeah, I like that. And I did forget to write it down, but I believe someone mentioned putting a clock above the doorway. So I wanna do that. So we got this one. Maybe over the door, above the doorway, or maybe not this one. I mean, I know this was a specific one that was brought up, but we could even just do this one. And I think we'll do the black swatch. Yeah, we'll go with that. 
And then I want to revisit the swatch we used for this. So we could go with that. Maybe that's a little bit too much brown though. I do like this one. All right, so that is gonna be it. And then, yeah, so we don't really have a lot of space in here to do like a proper entryway. And then that can go there. And honestly, okay, we're gonna stick that in there. Like I think that can maybe be a bathroom painting. We can kind of go for a different feel in there. And now I'm thinking that we could also stick some plants right above this hutch here. Definitely seems like a good idea. So we'll link this up once again and then see what we've got that we haven't already used. So we could use, oh, right, right. Okay, that's a little big, so it's not gonna, it's not gonna snap. But we can size that down a couple times, control nine, raise that up. I keep forgetting, they actually made it so you could clear the camera positions. I need to remember to do that so we can actually clear that and stop having to use control nine. Uh, but for the time being, we're not gonna worry about that. And let's go with, I'm thinking this watch. And then we also have this plant, which we can size down, but I'm not sure about that one. I think I wanna go with something, ooh, this, yes. Okay, this isn't gonna snap either, but we're gonna size this down one more time. I think that looks good. Um, actually, not quite feeling that one anymore. I think I want something simpler. Oh, this one is perfect, yes, this one. Okay, this is gonna be it. We're gonna size that down once and put that up here. Perfect. Yes, there we go. That looks good. Definitely like that. So what else does this area need? I feel like it could use a runner rug. So we do have this one from Realm of Magic that we can stick. Yeah, this is the Realm of Magic one. So this can go right in the entryway. We also have the Vampires one if I'm not really feeling the swatches of this one. And yeah, the Vampire swatches might actually be a better fit. So we're gonna sort by that to find that. All right, so here we go. Yeah, yeah, I think this one's, this one's kind of more what I'm looking for. So what do we have that looks nice? Yeah, I'm liking the feeling of the vampires one more. So we're gonna get rid of that. And then have it be, I think that is enough. So just kind of, or we'll, We'll get rid of that and then make it a little bit smaller. So it's just kind of in this area. I'm kind of feeling this swatch a little bit, maybe this one. And then over here by the doorway, I wanted to try to fit in another plant. So I don't believe I've used, where was it, this one yet? And I wanted to see if we could also fit in a coat rack or perhaps an umbrella stand. That would definitely go with the whole entryway thing because usually I do some kind of like entryway table, but we're definitely not gonna have the space for that here. So we could actually move this stuff down a little bit because we got enough room. I think what I'm gonna actually do is we're going to put this back over here and get rid of, not that wall, at least this. And I wanted to try putting that one coat rack thing that came with the laundry day in here. I think that might look a little bit better than what I was trying to do. Cause I kind of like the feel of this. And I just want something, like something in here that just feels like an entryway object, but the space, like the space is just sort of tricky. So let me get a look down from this perspective of how this looks. Okay, so that's not too bad. Uh, we gotta find a swatch that works. Um, maybe this, like this kind of like, this kind of has a quirky feel to it, which I, I think would go well with the sim, like maybe even a funky yellow. How do we feel about that? I think maybe the blue, the blue would be a little bit better. I think that kind of ties in with what we have going on better, but I am liking the feel of this. Um, and then as far as like, I would have, would have liked to have a bookshelf in here, but this is a small space. So I think what we're gonna have to do is maybe have that in the bedroom and that could kind of be like the study area. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do kind of the trick I've done where I take the shoe rack and I raise it up to make it look like it's on this, you know, like that's where they keep their shoes. So I think that was actually in clutter. I always have trouble remembering where this was. Okay, here it is. Um, so we'll just go with this one. And then control nine, raise that up, there we go. So if you raise it up to this level and you can kind of position it like this, it does look like the shoes are right in here and I always like doing that. And then the shelf right here, 
would be perfect for, you guessed it, plants. So we're gonna have more plants right in here. So I know we've already used this, although I don't want that to snap up there. So I think we're gonna, we're just gonna do that. And then we're gonna get the handy dandy shelf back out and just stick it in here. So I think what I can do is I can size it down. So as I mentioned before, we get that variety. And then I could also change the color. So that looks pretty good in there. Um, maybe we can add some books and stuff in here, like that cookbook collection. I think we're gonna go with the green for that. Uh, yeah, I think I used the terracotta color for it over by the patio door. So this is fine. And then what else do we have that really goes with the feel? Because I wanted to have this feeling of like plants that they're also growing, like not necessarily just purely decorative. Well, we could use this again or this. Like maybe size this down and just stick it in here, like leave it in the white color. Yeah, I think that works well. And then as far as the book thing, I think what I'm gonna actually do is I'm going to get some debug books. So they're more so just actual books. And since they will be technically floating, I don't think there's gonna be an issue with Sims trying to put them away. So we got these magic books, maybe a gardening book. Gardening manual, perfect. Or, oh, that actually snaps there. Okay, uh, let's just, okay, so we're gonna do this and just fill it in so I can freely place it. Okay, I think that should be good. Cause I, I want it to be freely placed so they aren't temp, so like, you know, they don't try to grab it. I think that's the entry area done. Uh, maybe, you know, maybe actually another plant, like maybe just one kind of plant up here. So we could perhaps Okay, let's undo deleting that shelf. And then put that up here. And I'm thinking we can size down this thing. Actually, no, why did I even do that? It's not gonna snap to that. Okay, well, we'll just size that up, size that down a couple times and then hope that it looks like it fits up here. Ooh, okay, that worked out pretty well. And I think that looks good. So we'll just have it be this one plan up here. And once again, delete that. I'm actually gonna keep that shelf around because I, I think I'm gonna have a need for it. So an idea I had was that we could take some shelves and put them above this. Kind of position it like that. I don't know if this, or maybe below, maybe having the shelf. Yeah, I think having the shelf underneath it will actually look better. And then we can just have some knickknacks on this. Like maybe some stuff that's not necessarily plants. Like I know there was that cat statue. So I think this would be a good spot for that. Okay. So we got that. Uh, it's not, it's not perfectly centered. So actually move that over a little bit. All right. I think that's close enough. And then this can come over here to this level. Yeah. I really feel like, I, I just feel like this area needed a little bit more to it than just that painting. Oh, this is kind of cool. I like this. I like the feel of this. I don't know, it's kind of got a neat, like a neat crafted feel to it. So we'll go with that color. And then I want to find that cat statue. Uh, it's man's best friend, cat's best friend. Oh good, these actually snap here. And then what else, like what else feels like Maybe a candle. There is this candle. Okay, never mind. Once again, this also snaps here. And then we'll change it to this color, or maybe do we have anything else that actually looks like kind of fit? Ooh, I do, I do like how that looks. All right, so we got that. And then I think we do actually have to have a plant here. Like we definitely have to include some kind of a plant here. How would this look? I don't know. Maybe this one size down. Okay, that one, let's move this up because that one isn't actually gonna snap to this. And how will it look if we change it to, I think we'll go with the green. Cause I think I already used this somewhere, right? Yeah, 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 that was what I used on the end table there. Okay, so we're just gonna, we're just gonna go with that. I think that works pretty well. 
I know some people brought up like shelves with plants on them under the window, but I think with the curtain here, that's not really gonna look the best because it's gonna just, it's gonna just kind of cut through. And I don't think that plant quite goes with the feel that we're going for in here, but we could always take this one and then stick it behind her as well because we couldn't, like you can't really see a lot of it where it is over there. So I think it's fine to just stick that there again. I feel like we kind of need something else back there. So we'll just get rid of this once again for now. I feel like this, like this whole area in here is pretty good. It's pretty much done. I don't think we really need too much else. So we'll just kind of get a look going through here. Yeah, I feel like this is actually pretty good for this area out here. So you all can, of course, let me know if you think I need anything else. We can always make some adjustments next time. But we're going to move on from that and then go over to the bedroom area. So for this room, little Chris suggested that rather than using this bed, I should use that base game bed that has the sunflower on it, which definitely would be perfect given the theme. I believe this was that was this one. So there we go, sunflowers, and we can go with these tables. Yeah, I really like that. That is super cute. And we're just gonna use these same curtains once again. So you can go on there and we can use, actually, I think we're gonna have to use that. Yeah, we're gonna have to use the same curtain. And maybe blue. I kinda like the blue. Yeah, um, I, I definitely do like, like there's, there's something about the mixture of light blue and sunflowers that I like. Um, I did talk about this in my most recent speed build, which was of the wedding venue, but uh, for my wedding, because in, in case some of you didn't know, I did get married recently. You probably knew that because I've been I've been talking about it way too much lately, like almost every video lately. But um, so like this blue is pretty much what I like what we use the main color for our wedding, and then we just had sunflower yellow accents throughout. And I just I really like that combination. There's something about it that just really draws me in. But yeah, as I did mention in my last video, the reason why I haven't had anything up in like I didn't have anything up for like three weeks and it's been like a month since the last part of the series is that I did get married. So, you know, I just had to take time off to like some time away from YouTube to deal with all the crazy planning that comes with um, planning, a, you know, with having a wedding. And then I also unfortunately found out that, oh, I like that. Yes. Um, but I also unfortunately, maybe we'll do a different color, um, found out that no, we'll do that. Um, no, never mind. We'll go back to that. Sorry, I keep interrupting myself. I did unfortunately find out that I am getting laid off from my job. So I've got three more days of work with this job. And then I'm just off my own, hoping that I'm going to find a job reasonably soon. But I have been applying for a lot of jobs. And I actually have a phone interview scheduled for Monday, which I'm very excited about because I applied for at least... I've applied for at least 10 jobs so far. And the job that I have the phone interview for is the one that I was the most excited about. Like I saw the job listing and I'm like, this is what I wanted to do with my engineering degree. Like this, this like ticks off almost every box so far. I mean, when I actually interview, I might find that there are some problems, but so far this company was like the one that I was the most excited to talk about. And they were the first one to contact me for an interview. So hopefully it's mutual because I feel like I met pretty much all the requirements for the kind of person they wanted for the job. And I wrote a very enthusiastic, a very enthusiastic cover letter. I meant what I said in it because, you know, sometimes you do cover letters and you're just kind of like, you don't, you know, you're not as, as excited about the job as you kind of have to say you are. But this one, like I was genuine with it. Like I genuinely am excited about it. And I, I feel like that passion hopefully came through in the job interview and that's why they're they're giving me the interview because they did contact me to schedule a phone interview literally uh no I don't want orange juice still in that but literally the day after I don't want drinks and I don't want liquid in this you know but literally the day after I applied for the job they contacted me and asked me for a phone interview so fingers crossed this goes well um, I'm not trying to get my hopes up too much because you know this is the first interview. Chances are it's, right, that's a thing you got to watch for. You want to make sure you can actually move it once you place it down. Okay, good, this one that you can. But yeah, I don't want to get my hopes too much, hopes up too much because chances are it's not going to work out for me. I know how the odds usually go with interviewing, but I mean, it would be great if it worked out. So I'm really, really hoping for that. 
Uh, oh, we did have, oh, we did have that one. Did I use that one? Yeah, we used that one out there. So I want to find something else we can use in here. Oh, right. I had that Roman magic painting. Did I get rid of that? I guess I did. Um, so we'll just try sticking that back in here. But yeah, the timing of the layoff and like finding out I was getting laid off and everything did kind of suck because it was right for my wedding, which did mean that I didn't really have a whole lot of time to apply for jobs. Um, you know, because I got four weeks of notice, which was awesome. And that's a lot, but two weeks of that was eaten up by wedding planning and just kind of like, you know, I went, we went on a little trip after the wedding, just kind of like a mini moon. It's not actually full blown honeymoon, but we just wanted to do something. So I did unfortunately you lose a couple of those weeks, but the nice thing about it was that it did give me some more time to kind of process, th process things and figure out where I want to go. So, you know, it's not all bad. It's not all bad. I'm trying to see the positive in the situation. But anyway, getting back to fully focusing on this, we'll get a computer in there. I think we'll go with kind of like this color to make it look like maybe it's an older computer. And I'm thinking for this, rather than going with the desk lamp, let's just go with a regular old table lamp. I don't think I used this one. No, I didn't use this one over there on the end table. So we'll go with this. I kind of like the look of it. Plus, the thing I found is that the desk lamps in this game really don't light up very well. So I definitely want something that'll do a better job of that. Oh, there was that object in here that looked like the stacks of, yes, this thing? No, that looks kind of weird there. I don't think we need to do that. Oh, this, perfect. Okay, so we got that there. Maybe they're like writing something down. We can have some books. Cause I also like, even though I haven't had room for a bookshelf so far, I definitely see the Sim as being kind of a little bit of a bookworm. So I want to show that some. So we're going to go back to debug, try to find some other books that we can throw in. Maybe some more gardening manuals or just some, like maybe some kind of more learning oriented books. Maybe Homestock Cooking, you know, maybe they're, they're kind of into cooking. And I really did like the idea that someone brought up of like, this is a Sim who maybe has like, book clubs and they have a lot of people over. I don't know, I just thought that was really sweet. Um, we already used that, so I don't want to use that again. I don't think these tomes would really be fitting for this place. I'm not going to do that off photography. Ooh, flower raging. Yes. Yeah, so another thing I wanted to do is when we get to the outside, I did want to add a flower raging station out there if we could. I think there will be room on the deck for that. So we'll see if we can make that happen. But right now I'm looking for the pencil cup. And I think I'm gonna just use, yeah, I'm just gonna use this one. I feel like that sort of fits this room better. And then we also need to remember to have room for a dresser. And I also wanted to try to, uh, I think we'll tuck this back there. Try to fit in a pet bed. What we could do instead to be able to fit more stuff in here is actually take the bed and put it over here against this wall and then just have a nightstand. And then that'll open up this area for a dresser. Yeah, so unfortunately this isn't really gonna work out super well for like if you have a couple living here, but I think this, I think this is fine. Um, Cause I kind of imagine it's being more of a single sim anyway. So we're gonna have, actually, let's take this plant and move it over here. Uh, it's probably a fire hazard, but that's fine. We're just gonna do that because that's that doesn't matter in this game. Okay, so we're gonna get rid of that. Kind of like that, yeah, I think that, I think that works. And then over here, let's fit in that dresser. So we could do the cats and dogs one if we really wanna stick it, you know, kind of stick with this look. Or we could also add some sort of, I kind of like the, I kind of like the idea of having a wardrobe in here, like versus a regular dresser. I think this does look nice. And the wood tone also goes pretty well with everything. And honestly, I feel like this plant is maybe a little bit too, I mean, or maybe if we try another swatch, but I'm kind of worrying that this plant is maybe a little bit too modern for the space. Okay. That swatch actually looks better. So we'll use that. 
And we can also have a standing mirror in this corner over here. I feel like that would probably be a good, good use of space for that. Another thing I just realized is that we do need to put a kitchen trash can in somewhere because I believe I forgot about that. So what works well? I think this one. But for the wood color of this, I think I'm gonna do something other than this beigey wood because I feel like we need to break that up a little bit and not have everything look so matchy-matchy. So I'm sort of digging this reddish wood. Maybe just at the foot of the bed here. All right, works for me. Although on second thought, different wood color or different color. You know, just, just to break things up a little bit. Uh, we, I still also wanted to fit in a cat bed. So where can we have that? Oh, we need, oh, right, 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 litter box. Um, so that can go, we'll, we'll figure out a way to cram that in there. Yeah, that's always a problem. Or we could even have it outside on the deck. But ideally, I would like to fit it inside here. So perhaps what we can even do is have a little, like, have a little scratching post over here in this corner. I think that would be really cute. And then we'll go with uh, maybe the yellow. I kind of like the yellow. It's very cheery. And we can also move... Oh, that's going to kind of mess with my arranging. Thing is, I don't know if the cat's actually going to be able to get to the scratching post, but I don't think it's a huge deal if they can't. And then this can be right... And then I also wanted to fit in a bookshelf. See, there's there's too many things. You know, maybe we don't maybe we don't need a cat bed. Yeah, I think I'd rather put the priority on other things. So that can go over this way a little bit more. And then let's see if we can have a bookshelf as you walk in the room. So I think the one from Cats and Dogs would be a good fit. The only problem is this plant is very like it's a it's a very large plant so it kind of makes it a little bit harder to fit stuff in around it but we could always just have these next to each other and then i do really like this wood color and then move that there or perhaps we should just kind of get just get rid of that plant altogether. and what we can do instead is we can just stick a whole bunch of plants on this all right so that looks good there and i'm thinking we can also just stick something up here so what have we not used yet yeah it's kind of it's kind of getting to a point where it's sort of slim pickings for plants we haven't used yet but i think this one will hopefully work okay yeah i actually really like how that just kind of fits into here and then i think the original swatch was good and then perhaps we can stick another one of these in here so we're going to size this down Actually, we need to lower that a little bit. Okay, I think that works. I'm gonna try to go with a different swatch than what we used. So I think that one looks really cute. All right, so that's good. Uh, I also wanted to add a hanging plant in because a few of you also brought up that one of those hanging plants that were unlocked would look really cute in here. So let me see if I can find that really quick. I'm thinking we could stick one in here, like in this room perhaps. And then we could also stick another one maybe in the main area out there. But where is the, this is the hanging plant, right? Oh, there's the hanging thing. Okay, yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't quite see with this angle. Yeah, so we just gotta raise this up so it is at approximately the right level and that was way too high. Um, so I think that's gonna be about it. So I think right over here in this corner would look good. And then we could take another one. So we got this one. This one's really pretty and like maybe have it over in this corner, like above this chair. I think that would be a good spot for it. So once again, we're just going to raise that up. Okay, that looks about right. So then that'll go there. And then I'm gonna have to move that painting down. Or actually no, the painting's fine where it is, but I'll still move it down a little bit anyway. Okay. This is coming together. It's starting to look really good. Oh, what do we want to have here? Uh, I'm actually starting to lose steam a little bit, so uh, I don't really feel like doing too much more detailing. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely not getting to the outside in here. Yeah, I do not have enough time. All right, so I like this. So yeah, not everything has to be plant-themed, but what else would be a good option? All right, before we forget, I did need to add in that trash can 
here in the kitchen. Uh, or, oof, can't really fit it anywhere here in the kitchen, so you can go... Uh, not a good spot, but here. Actually, we can... Or no, never mind, never mind. We'll, we'll put it here. I know, crappy spot, but... Or, 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 this is better. This is better. These can share a space. These can share a tile. Much better idea than what I was trying to do. Okay, and then we could do a fun color, like maybe a blue. Kind of dig in that. Make it a little bit more lively in here. Okay, so what what do we need in here to finish this? I'm thinking another plant. And then we can use the cactus full-sized. Yeah, since I just used it size down before. We can just add some shelves above here and fill those in. So uh, where was... I actually want to use the... I actually think... You know, these shelves from Cats and Dogs would be really nice. So we'll use this wood. Yeah, I actually really like this wood. Although we're going to swap this because we got that hanging plant in the corner over there. So I think we'll have this be the higher side of the shelf. And then I'm just going to go ahead and fill these in. We have all the decorations on the shelves now. So I think the last thing we need for this area is a calendar. And there was that calendar from Cats and Dogs. And I think that'd be perfect because we can, you know, pick the cat's watch of it. So let me sort by Cats and Dogs to find that. Because that was in here, right? Yeah, there it is. So I'm actually going to size that down once. And go with one of the two cat swatches. So I think this one. Yeah, I think the, or actually the, the green, I like the green. The green kind of pops out a little bit more, so we're going to roll with that. And maybe one last painting here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to size this down and have that here just to have something a little different in here. I don't know if there's anything. Ooh, that, there we go. That's got a cat in there. That's, uh, that's topical for this apartment. Okay, so I think I'm going to leave that. Oh, wait, no, we need a rug. Yeah, so I'll just add, actually, speaking of cats and dogs, this one might work. So I'm just going to add a rug in here. And we're going to have it kind of cockeyed, and then that's going to be it for this room. So we've got, we've got this. I think that actually looks pretty nice. And I mean, like I said, I don't really want this room to be perfect. Or there was that base, or, or, <laughs> I know I keep saying or. Well, what we could do is we can use this rug, but in a different swatch. Yeah, I think that'll kind of go with the feel of this place a little bit better. Um, so we do have the more, uh, did we use that out? No, we didn't use that out there. So I like this swatch. We're going to go with this. And then the last thing we have to do in this apartment is the bathroom. So this is kind of, since this is kind of part of the same building, I am just going to take this. Oh, that's where I stuck this. Okay. All right, so how are we going to fit this litter box in? That is what we're going to have to figure out. Um, you know what? I think what I'm actually going to do is, because this, this like, I've been recording for over now. I'm sure I'm going to edit a lot out, but I think I'm just going to end this part here, and I'll actually work on the basics of the bathroom on my, on my own, and then perhaps in the next part, we can just finish, this, finish up this apartment, finish adding some details to this bathroom, and then move on to the outside. So yeah, I think that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. So with that, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and bye!